everyone, I'm Arie Jabali. I'm the founder of Corlina, an independent SEO consultancy, and I'm here today to talk to you all about site architecture optimization for seasonality with a focus on e-commerce websites. Seasonal SEO is this concept of driving conversions during a period of increased interest. Now, it could be one of many reasons. It could be event-based, it could be time-based, um, it could be because of a product. So um, some examples that come to mind when they're event-based is, let's say it's Valentine's Day or it's Mother's Day or Father's Day. Um, when it comes to a specific time period, it could be because you know it's the end of the year or it's January or it's summer. And then when it's product-based, it's usually around this concept of um, a new product launch, like the new iPhone, or the new MacBook or so forth. The question that you always have to make sure you ask when you work on any new website is this question of when are our peak periods? It's very, very important for us to not assume when the peak periods are, but to actually ask that and to bear it in mind in our SEO strategy. Um, so the way I like to kind of split it is this concept of what happens before peak, what happens during peak, and then what happens after peak. And this is what we'll walk through now one after the other. So let's start with before peak. It's this idea of splitting everything into what we benchmark first and then what we plan and then what happens when we go live. So when we talk about benchmarking, the first question we usually ask is, how did you perform last peak? It's important for us to take a step back to make sure that we have benchmark data in place to understand what was our traffic like? What was our revenue like? How many leads did come through? Because in order for us to down the line, be able to assess and understand what happened in this peak period. Um, forget all about your typical type of monthly reports. Peak reporting tends to be very, very different. It focuses on actual KPIs that matter to the business and it compares you with this peak in comparison with a previous peak period. The second question is, what is the opportunity this peak? So for this specific peak that's coming up, you're usually expected to do some form of forecasting of what the traffic and revenue is going to look like. We can do that based on current rankings, uh, based on seasonal search volume, and then off the back of that, we can have our forecasted traffic and our predicted revenue uplift. Sharing that beforehand um, is very important so that stakeholders can be on board and everyone is aware of what to expect and what's coming next. And then when it comes to the planning phase of your before peak period, this is usually where you're going to spend a lot of the time. Now, it's really, really important that we don't leave this to the last minute. This is usually at least a quarter in advance of a peak period coming up. Um, so the first thing is making sure all your reporting is set up, have those automated dashboards in place so that they're able to um, curate that data as you go. Seasonal page updates. Now, it could be one of many things. Um, of course, the homepage will probably get some updates. Your product landing pages, your PLPs, and your product detail pages. In a lot of cases, some of these pages might have been forgotten for a while since they haven't been touched since the last uh, seasonality. Um, and then, of course, ensuring how we're internally linking between those. Now, your navigation is a hero when it comes to that. And it's very, very important for us to ensure that we're internally linking between um, our PLPs and our PDPs um, and our supporting content assets and our supporting blog assets. Um, and then when it comes to the content updates that you need to be doing, um, Evergreen is your friend. It's very, very important for us to rely on pages that already have authority as opposed to creating new pages from scratch. Um, making sure that we don't forget about our meta tags and updating the different dates depending on where we are in the year. Uh, but also stick to what worked before as opposed to trying to create something from scratch every time. Um, Tech checks are very important. A lot of times with seasonal pages, depending on if they're event page or product paid, then it might be um, that we kind of uh, forget something that's blocked or something that's not indexed or something that's not crawlable. So ensuring that there is a plan in advance when you are about to go live for all of these uh, pages to be crawlable and indexable by Google. Um, and then finally, having an out of stock plan is really, really important. Um, Let's make sure that we do not 404 <laughs> uh, pages uh, just like that when they are temporarily out of stock. Um, and let's make sure that we actually have a plan in place and we are um, liaising with different teams to ensure uh, that we know oh, when is something about to go to out of stock and what needs to be done at that point. And then when it's time for go live, 
you probably by that point have your go live checklist ready to go, making sure that everything is crawlable, everything is indexable, what needs to be in the navigation is there, your pages can actually be found. And then just, you know, take a breath. It's really, really important at that point. Um, it's usually been at least a month or two of work prior, especially if this was a big seasonal page for you um, or a big seasonal period for you to ensure that, you know, you kind of step back before peak is usually where most of the work is done. So then during peak, you know, this can be an event that lasts a day. It can be something that lasts a week or it can be the whole of Q4, for example. So it, it's very, very dependent on which specific peak period you're working on. But make sure you're monitoring your data as you go, right? So that data benchmarking that we did up here is very, very important because at that point we know how we performed the last time round. So, you know, keep keep on top of these numbers and know, oh, have, we, have we reached our target yet? Uh, our prediction for revenue uplift, are we there at this point or are we still quite behind? Um, and make sure that you're checking on the tech the whole time. Um, is, you know, is, is out of stock going to become a problem soon? Should we make sure that we make any amendments to some of our pages? Are all of our products live? Is everything crawlable? Is everything indexable? And also just make sure you're updating stakeholders as you go, especially if it's a longer period than expected, uh, then you know, don't wait for them to come up to you and say, oh, have we hit our targets yet? Or what are the numbers looking like? It's very, very important with some of those reporting automated setup that we had in the first place, just make them, you know, make them really transparent and make them very, very easy for stakeholders to be able to access. After peak period, it's kind of all about communication at that point. You're probably going to get a lot of questions and, you know, SEO is just one channel. Like your organic traffic and your organic revenue is just one channel amongst many more. And it's going to be very, very important for the business as a whole to communicate, you know, how it went, um, which channels hit target, which ones didn't. Whether it's good news or it's bad news, it's very, very important to be as transparent and open as possible about what the data looks like and what some of our learnings are. Now, something I always encourage is doing a retrospective action plan. Now, this is a meeting that will most probably include a lot of different stakeholders from different teams, but the important thing is to kind of talk about what went well, what didn't go so well, and what are the actions that we're gonna take off the back of that. Um, there might be some things that went really well that we wanna make sure that we continue doing for our next peak periods. But there might be others that were quite a bit of a challenge. For example, a miscommunication with the tech team or a problem with a content piece that wasn't updated um, or, or something along those lines. With those, we wanna make sure that we have a plan put forward of how we avoid this happening the next time around. This is also usually the best time to plan for next peak and ask for any additional resources that you might potentially need. Let's say you need a dedicated dev the next time around, or let's say you want more content resource, for example. This is usually the best time to put a case study forward of this is what happened this peak period, and we wanna ensure that we perform and do even better the next time around. So yeah, with this, I hope it kind of gives uh, an easy way for us to have SEO strategies moving forward, especially with a focus on seasonal um, peak periods and how we can handle those for e-commerce or also for other sites in general. Thank you so much for joining.